get out our motherboard. Set it here. Get our memory and our processor. Our processor is very simple. Just lift up the arm on the socket. You'll find a triangle indicated on the processor. You'll find a corresponding triangle on the on the motherboard. Set it right in and lock it in. That's simple. Now the heat sink had a thermal paste on it from the factory. I cleaned it off. I do not like using uh, factory thermal paste. I use Arctic Silver 5. It's inexpensive and it's a very good thermal paste for general use. Put a small amount, like a half size of a pea. Consider where your cable is going to be routed. On this motherboard, the actual C the processor is over here. It's, it's usually over on this side, but for some reason they put it here beside the rear fan. So we'll uh, install this in this orientation here. Set it down on there. And then lock it down. And that's pretty good right there. I'll come back later and uh, tidy up this uh, cabling here with a tie strap or something. As a matter of fact, I might as well just do that right now. Well, it's out in the open. very simple. Get your two modules out. To install the RAM, you just line up the notch on the RAM, the notch in the socket. With the tabs back, you slide it in and press until you hear them both click in. Same with the second RAM, second module. Slide it in. Push down so they both click and they're seated firmly. Let's uh, set this out of the way. Let's get our case back over here. Let's orientate it so that you guys can see it the best best I can. I'm gonna try to keep my head out of the video, but I have to see too. Now we made all sure all the standoffs are exactly where they're supposed to be for this uh, motherboard. You want to check that before you install the motherboard where your standoffs are and correspond to the board that they're in the right place. So let's uh, lower this in. Make sure the ground straps in your I.O. plate are where they're supposed to be. Everything lines up in the back of the I.O. plate. It's very important. And that looks good right there. So let's uh, find some screws for that. I had them here somewhere. I just believe these are them right here. Okay. As everything, just get them started. back later and tighten them all down. Nice and smooth. I guess every 10 minutes this video is going to shut off so I'll have to uh, edit it and you know start over where whatever we missed.
Okay, now all six screws are in. I'm going to go ahead and snug them all up. And there we go. Motherboard is installed. CPU's on, RAM, and uh, processor's in. Okay, I think from here, let's go ahead and install the DVD drive. Okay, camera's back on again. Let's install our optical drive and memory card reader. Now these covers on the front just have tabs on the inside you can feel. And they just pop right out. Let's go ahead and pop out the one for the optical drive and one for the memory card reader. Make sure it's uh, straight up, the orientation is right. And just slide it in. Grab a couple screws. started. Before you snug them up, just make sure it's flush in the front how you want it. And go ahead and snug up them two screws. The memory card reader is similar. Just slide it into its spot. screws and both started and then before you snug it up just make sure it's flush and it's where you want it and in front of the case which that is and then go ahead and snug them two up now let's turn it over On the back side, you'll see some more screw holes. So let's put a couple in each one. On the back side, again, before you snug it up, let's just check and make sure it's flush. That's where you want it. With the face plate, and then snug them up. Same with the memory card reader. Make sure it's flush. It is. And that's that. Okay, let's turn her back over. And see where we're at now. I'll let that uh, optical drive in. I can start hiding wire above it. Kind of like where I like to do it. Okay, there's a lot of room up there, so just a good place to hide some of the wiring. This, like I said, this case does not have hardly any cable management whatsoever, so it's very tough to uh, hide these wires. Let's plug in the 24 pin connector. Okay, let's route the wires around there. Make it look as nice and neat as possible. Alright, let's go ahead and install the hard drive. Again, the face plate just has a clip on the inside. You uh, press them in and they pop right out. Now, I will be putting it back in. I just wanted to uh, use it to install this. It's, I think it's easier to install this from the front than it is the rear, of course, because uh, I have components in there already. Okay. Looks pretty good right there. 
I believe. One of the screws for it. I wanted to push it in enough to make sure that that cover will snap back in the front. And I believe that's pretty good right where it's at. Let's go ahead and snug them up. As you can see, it's in there. Let's turn it over. And put a couple screws in the other side here. Which does not appear to be lining up very well, so... One's an up on that side. I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's a solid steel hard drive tray. And then just pop that cover back on there. And there it goes. We're good. Alright, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to hook up these front panel headers. Uh, I gotta consult with the manual to see exactly where they go. So uh, I'll be right back as soon as I get them. Okay, I got the uh, front panel connectors all hooked up and uh, even added a speaker. Uh, Asus boards don't normally come with a speaker. Let's uh, hook up this memory card reader. There appears to still be a piece of tape on there from the painting. There it is. Where I covered the connector up when I painted it. Just align the pins. Push it in. Let's just route this down and around. Find the connector. And there we go. I get up under the board a little bit. The best we can. cables I have for the modular semi-modular power supply I have one that goes directly to this front fan only I have a uh, SATA connectors for three it's gonna power up the optical drive the hard drive and I left one in case they had another hard drive or SSD also we have an eight pin connector actually we have a six plus two and a six pin connector for the graphics card so let's start with the fan connector I believe there's room behind this motherboard tray if I push it down through there here we go back up through there. Mm, how can I do this so you can see it? Just like this. Or like this. This part, of course, just hooks into let me, uh, trying to keep my head out of the video, but I gotta I gotta see too. Well, let's put this back over here. Oh. I want it up above everything so it hides the best I can possibly hide it. There's, like I said, there's not a lot of room at all above this uh, the 
find the motherboard tray. Let's find a spot for it in the power supply, which is right there. Click. You heard her click. Let's pull the excess out. Run it down in the back here. And then you're not going to be able to see it, but that, that connector that I added is right on the very corner there. So, it'll just plug in. Something like this. Of course, it's going to give me a hard time. Let's flip this so where I can see it. Sorry that you can't. And there she is. Plugged in nice and tight. So that will power up the front fan directly from the power supply. These uh, fans don't spin very fast, they're not loud at all, so that'll be pretty good. Let's go ahead and hook up SATA cables. Again, finding a port on the power supply for the one end here, which is right there. I'm going to go ahead and hide the excess cable above the hard drive. Again, I can't see because I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera. So, sorry, but you're not going to be able to see this. Go ahead and plug it out of the power supply again. So, I can actually reach down in here and get to the power plug. Make sure it's in the right direction, which it, which it is. But these compact cases really do not leave you a lot of space. If you had big hands, uh, you'd really be struggling with this installation. Okay, she's plugged in. Go ahead and grab my power supply cable again and plug it back in the power supply. And there we go. Nice and neat. You can live with that. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. Six pin or excuse me, eight pin, six pin, whatever, how many pins for the graphics card. So plug there. And this is a short cable, so it's just gonna run right down across the board, right behind the memory, and then it'll plug in the top of the card. So it's gonna leave that there for now. Go ahead and install the graphics card. Okay. I have a USB camera here I'm going to set up and try to get a close up of this. See how it works out. I'm not sure. Graphics card is very simple. We have a PCI 16 slot. Let's move this power cord out of the way. Just line it up with the front uh, PCI ports and the card with the slot. 
and then snap it in. Just press and that'll go right in there. I did not get screws off for this, so let me get back to my screw bin here. some PCI screws. It's one and two and before you tighten these down make sure all your connections are accessible as opposed to, uh, you know the way they correspond with the case of the fan or the case of the side of the PCI slot sometimes if you get them over a little too much you won't get the connectors on it 